In mathematics, the additive persistence of an integer, n, is the number of times you have to replace n with the sum of its digits until n becomes a single digit integer. The multiplicative persistence of an integer, x, is the number of times you have to replace x with the product of its digits until x becomes a single digit integer. In today's episode of Wow! How do you code that? We're writing two methods that accept an integer as an argument, and returns its additive or multiplicative persistence. In our first method, additive persistence, we initialize a variable, iterations, to zero. Next, we initialize a variable named, num, to the value of the incoming number. While num is greater than 9, the helper method getSum of digits is called, which performs the necessary calculations to sum all integers in the number it receives. Inside the getSum of digits helper method, the variable, sum, is initialized to 0. While the value of our number is not equal to 0, the variable, sum, is incremented by the value of the last digit in our number. Next, the number is divided by 10, which reduces it by a digit. The loop completes when all the digits of our number have been summed. The final result is returned to the calling method. The result from the call to get sum of digits is assigned to the num variable. Next, the iterations variable is incremented by 1. Upon completion of the while loop, the value of iterations is returned to the caller. The solution to the multiplicative persistence method is identical to that of the additive persistence method, with exception of the call to the helper method, get prod of digits. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so, please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. Be sure to click the notification bell to be notified each time we upload new content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Wow! How'd you code that?